you are on the road. I'm Sam Marasini, Director of Partner Solutions here at Pure Storage, here at Supercomputing 23 in Denver, Colorado, and I ran into an old friend, Justin Emerson. Justin, what's oh. happening at Supercomputing, my man? Oh, it's been, it's been a really good show so far. We're very excited. Uh, last year was uh, finally Supercomputing was back. Uh, and so now, now we're back to the annual thing this year. So we've got uh, got our booth here in, uh, in in Denver. We're talking to a lot of customers, and that's what it's all about. We got chocolate direct flash modules. We got right? chocolate chips. <laughs> chocolate chips. That's the chocolate yeah. There you go. Miles. So look, we made some announcements at the beginning of the conference. Some have yeah. to do with this beauty behind me. Some have to do with relationships. What are, what are we doing? Well, we had a lot of really great, uh, uh, big releases at the beginning of this week. Time to the to the show, uh, as I'm sure many folks did. Um, but one of the big things that we're talking about uh, is um, energy efficiency. We're talking about uh, evergreen. We're talking about uh, power efficiency. We're talking about going green, like the pin on your on your uh, on your That's lapel right there. Yeah. Stands right so, out against the um, A lot of really good information about that as it relates to AI. We're, we're saying there's a lot of organizations that need to consider uh, energy efficiency as they approach their AI projects. Uh, and one of the best ways to do that is to approach your project with energy efficient storage. It, it, it's interesting because that's an area that not a lot of people talk about when, when it comes to AI, because AI is just like throw resources at it, but yeah. energy efficiency is very quickly going to rise to be one of the biggest concerns. But we're all over that because that's what Evergreen's about. Exactly. And, and part of the reason a lot of other folks aren't talking about it is it's not a very good story for them. It's not. But for us, it's one of our key differences. Differentiators. So that's why we, we talk about it a lot and we think more people should be focused on that. And so hopefully your viewers agree as well. Uh, absolutely. The other really big announcement uh, was that we um, uh, uh, finalized the base pod reference architecture with NVIDIA. So uh, we were the first to market back in 2018 with a uh, AI ready infrastructure or ARI, which was the, the first storage and, and compute reference architecture for AI related workloads uh, that we launched. Still back, talking about it today. Still it's talking been, about it yeah, today, yeah. right? But it's evolved over time. And now ARI is part of the, the family of reference architectures that NVIDIA calls BasePod. And so that was an announcement uh, 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 on Monday. On Monday, uh, the show, this week. Yeah. Uh, And we've also made an announcement with a Flash Stack for AI as well. So Flash Stack is our reference architecture family with, uh, with Cisco as well. So a lot of really big announcements on the reference architecture front, um, which, is, which is very exciting. It's very exciting for customers and also for our partners, by the way, because those reference architectures are about allowing them to pick the best of breed, breed components, which are pure storage, whether it's Flash Array or Flash Blade, and then integrate that with Cisco, with NVIDIA, to provide that business outcome to customers. That's all about AI, because that's what we're really getting to. And it's been yeah. phenomenal, this show, just in a couple of years, to see how things are changing and the boots around us. And I love this show because you see things like... Um, it's, a, it's such a smorgasbord it, of it various is. things. You'll walk along and you'll see somebody with cold plates for liquid cooling of CPUs. You'll see another <laughs> place where they're talking about, you know, logic analyzers and FPGAs. Then somebody else who's got a chip that's the size of the entire wafer. Like, it's everything and everything, and it's an amazing show. It, it is, and I love the universities that are building stuff out of it. Absolutely. Like Mississippi State's right around the corner. Um, all of those universities. Yeah, TACC, uh, yeah, right all, sorts of other, all sorts of other great booths around us. Uh, so if you're here at the show, please come take a look at our booth. We're Absolutely. right in the middle of the action. Um, come see the Flash Blade S. We've got one here in the in the sheet metal. Get some chocolate and get your Data Hero um, picture. Uh, These, by the way, really are people that didn't come back to get theirs yet. So if you see your picture here, we have it for you waiting. It's the best. Yeah, so come by, get your get your picture taken, get your boot scan, uh, and. Uh, Thank you for being a pure partner. Thank you for being a pure customer if you are one. Uh, and we'll see you, uh, see you at the show, hopefully. We will have a QR code right now for more information. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Hit that subscribe button for more. Thanks, Justin. Hey, thanks, Sam.